Hi there, this is Yael with Colony Design Studio and we are ready to begin learning all about Joomla and how to manage your Joomla powered uh, website. So once you log in to your Joomla control panel, this is what you're going to see. And what I want to do in this screencast is just to go over very briefly the different items that you see here and how to access um, the different tasks that you're going to need to learn to do uh, in managing your Joomla site. But just keep in mind that in the upcoming screencast we're going to go over each of these um, items in detail. So this is just a general overview of the control panel. So uh, what you see here, these large icons that you see here, uh, these are the tasks that you're going to be doing a lot of when you're managing your Joomla based website. So what Joomla's done is they've just made these nice big icons here in the opening of the control panel so that you can go directly to adding a new article or managing your articles, uh, managing the you know the items that are on your front page etc. so that you can go there go there directly by just clicking on these uh, main icons. But there's also another uh, way of navigating in your Joomla control panel and that is up here. There is a, you see up here there is um, menu items all across the upper left of your control panel. And uh, some of the things are uh, duplicates. Like if you open up site, this control panel item, if you're somewhere else in your uh, Joomla, con uh, you know, you're in a, opening, uh, you're managing your articles and you want to come back to the control panel home, that's what that link is for. But also notice that the user manager, the media manager, and the global configuration are also here in these big icons. Uh, not all of them are duplicates, but some of them. So, uh, for instance, menu, you have a menu manager, menu trash, trash, and then also all the different uh, menus that you may be using on your Joomla site. Whereas here, you only have the menu manager. So basically, it just uh, breaks it down and gives you, you know, more options. Content is uh, all the uh, things that you need to manage your content. Components, uh, by default, Joomla comes with uh, certain components installed, and you'll see them under components. But if you install a new commercial or a new free Joomla component, uh, you'll see it automatically under your components uh, menu here. Extensions. This is everything that you need to manage your extensions and your plugins and your modules. Tools will go into this. Um, what you what you have here under tools. Help is Joomla Help takes you to the Joomla main help site, and this system info gives you a lot of detailed information about your server, and um, you probably really won't need that information but we will go over it so that you will at least know what you're looking at if you um, you know ever click on that and then over here you've just got some handy little options uh, to quickly see some stats on your site uh, right now you see that I'm logged in so if you have more than if there are more people managing your Joomla site than yourself you would see if someone else is logged in while you're logged in popular is going to list your most popular uh, articles. Recently added articles will show your recently added articles. Menu stats, this is pretty self-explanatory. Um, it tells you in your main menu how many items that you have in there. And here's the Joomla security news feed. So those are just quick, uh, quick overview of your Joomla site and some stats. So this is just an introduction to the control panel. And in the upcoming screencast, we're going to go into detail about all these different options so that you will be off and managing your uh, Joomla website. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you or I'll talk to you in the next screencast. Bye.